guys, welcome back. Today I am filming a April favorites video for you guys. I have been seeing these videos all over YouTube for years and I quite enjoy them so I thought it would be fun to make one for you guys. And seeing as I have never done an, a favorites video before, um, some of these things I've been loving for a bit longer than the last month. Anyway, I'll show you guys what my favorite items are at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with some skincare stuff and beauty and then I'll move on to hair and then I'll show you guys some, um, some fashion bits that I have been gravitating towards this past month. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is this um, Glam Glow Pout Mat and I got this from my sister for Christmas. Um, I had really dry lips in winter and I was looking for something great and I saw this on YouTube. Anyway, so I've been using it actually for about four months now and I really love it. It's very nice, it's like minty and sweet and yeah, I mean what more can you say about lip balm? It works, it's nice, it smells nice, I really like it. Okay, and the next thing I showed you guys in my Amsterdam haul that I picked up from Kiehl's, the Ultra Facial Cream and the uh, Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. So I've been using this, I can't even remember when we went to Amsterdam, but I'm sure it's more than a month ago now. So I've been using this for about a month and I really like it. I'm not very fussy when it comes to skincare. I haven't really used a lot of different types of skincare. I used to always use the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer, but I mean, this gets the job done just as well. The face cream and it's really nice. It's um, very light and it's more like like almost a gel texture, which I pr prefer to creamy stuff because otherwise I feel like my skin can't breathe under the moisturizer. Okay, and this eye treatment is really nice. My first eye cream ever, so I can't really judge, but I do like it and I have noticed a difference. I wanted eye cream because I'm starting to get like little wrinkles but I wasn't sure if it's really wrinkles or maybe if it's just dry skin or if my dryness under my eyes was sort of um, speeding up the process of getting wrinkles. Anyway, I'm blabbering on. I really like it. It is more creamy than the face cream but that's fine. It works well under my eyes. Okay. Um, another thing I picked up in Amsterdam was this little Hula bronzer and I don't know if you guys can tell but I have been using it in my last couple of videos. I don't use it like when I'm not filming because I don't really put on makeup when I'm not filming. Sometimes but not often. Anyway, I really love it. I tried the Hula Light in store and I found that it was a little bit yellow. I don't know, it made my face look really yellow. So I went for the darker one and it works really well. I really like it. Okay, and then the um, final little makeup beauty thing was this lip pencil that I picked up in Amsterdam as well. And it's the lightest of the shades and it is Nude Pink by NYX. And I really like the color. I've been using it a ton. It's very basic and nude, but I like that it's, um, that it's more of a bright color so it's good for spring and summer and all that stuff. Okay, so then moving on to some hair stuff, you guys, if you watched my um, hair tutorial for my curls then you'll see that I used this Way Hair Care texturizing hairspray and this is something I've also been using for a longer time. I also got this for Christmas from my mom and yeah, I really love it. So yeah, it's definitely something I would recommend just like all other YouTubers, which is why I bought it because it was recommended so much on YouTube. Anyway, I actually got like a little set and it came with these, this um, shampoo and conditioner, which are wear hair care as well. And I really like it. It smells really nice. The consistency of the shampoo is a little bit weird. Like it's, um, I can't really explain it. It's almost like it comes out thin consistency, but it's like it's a stiff or something. It's really weird. Anyway, it works. You mix it with water, you put it in your hair, you rub it in. It's like shampoo. What can go wrong? Um, it smells delicious, really nice. It's sort of in the same theme as the hairspray and yeah, I really love the shampoo and conditioner. Not sure I would 
uh, immediately repurchase because they are quite pricey but we'll see maybe I'll get it as a gift again okay moving on I want to show you guys some fashion things that I have liked and these are specific to the last month because I buy a lot of clothes so I switch out my stuff a lot but I rediscovered this in my own wardrobe and it's a blouse from H&M um, I've had it for like I can't even tell you I think like four or five years but I love the material it drapes really nicely and it's sort of like a little bit see-through but not too see-through it's really nice it's very comfortable it's very lightweight mm -hmm. and I uh, used this actually in my last lookbook and I did link it there but I'll link it here as well because they actually still carry this blouse it's slightly different it's got um, mine has got a little uh, silver button at the top and the one now has a gold button but I mean if you put the collar down you can't really tell but yeah it's really nice I'll link it down below I think it's only 20 bucks or something like that so yeah I shopped my own closet and I found this it's very nice okay next thing is some accessories um, I picked up this um, necklace from H&M as well it was only five bucks and I have used it in my lookbook and I couldn't actually find it on the US website but I found something similar anyway it's been my go-to necklace for like a couple of weeks now it's really basic simple it's cool I think it looks a lot of people said it was like a moon but I kind of first time I saw it and when I bought it I thought it reminded me of like horns bulls horns or something anyway yeah I really like it moving on to the next thing I'll talk about some shoes and you guys have seen these little booties around my channel they are from mango and I have been wearing these so much this month I think like almost every day which is maybe a little bit boring to wear the same shoes every day but the weather has been really like not so nice over here so it's still a bit cold so booties are really nice to wear when it's not quite warm enough yet and I love the studding on these booties they fit really well they look really elegant I think they have a very nice shape and I love that the heel is a little bit uh, elongated it's not a block heel it's more of a like a longer heel very low and bonus they are now on sale on the mango site which they weren't when I bought them but I will link them down below okay and then the last two things I want to show you guys are two bags um, I'll first show you this one you've seen these around my channel already like for a long time but I have been gravitating towards this bag this past month I think it goes with a lot of things I really like the stripes and the shape and basically everything about this bag and I like that it's actually not too small on the inside so yeah really loving this bag I can't remember how much it costs but I'll link it below and then finally because red is the new black my red bag that you've also seen in my videos has been another favorite of mine I've talked about this before I love this ring I love the color red I just really like this bag and red does really feel like the new black because it actually goes with a lot of my items so yeah um, that's all of my favorites that I've been loving for the month April and for longer than April actually I hope you guys uh, liked this video and thought it was informative let me know down below what you thought and please like and if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video mm -hmm. Oh,